in a brewer. I was going to have him open up his own pizza shop and call it Domino's. <laughs> And I'm sitting here like, oh my why did that name come to mind? And I'm like, wait a minute, that's actually a thing. <laughs> Hello, Twitch. Hey, do you want extra greasy pizza? Exactly. Although they're New York style pizza, not bad. Not here in New York. Hello, Twitch. Second oh, campaign, geez. let's go. <laughs> <laughs> they let us down. We are still waiting for Colin. Uh, all I remember the last time we had Domino's pizza, that stuff was greasy enough to lube a factory of machines. Uh, yeah. It, yeah. It, it's, it's gotten better. Well, I don't think it's gotten better. But... I was just saying, are you about to defend them? <laughs> Jesus. Are, <laughs> look, do they have you hostage? Who do my, they have my, armed? Look, I'm a lawyer in training, so I'm just coming do to defend need, them as a public do defender. Do we need to call the Batman? Yes. <laughs> Think yeah, twice you know. if you are in danger. <laughs> it's Dom and Papa jo like Papa John's at Domino's got me captive here. Papa's in the house here and he's got a Big Mac nine to my head. This is You say Big Mac nine, and all I can imagine now is a fucking Big Mac with a barrel pointing out of it. <laughs> oh hey, Ronald's here too. Don't out hot the pizza. <laughs> oh, don't get me started on the Pizza Hut that we had here in New York. Oh, uh, God. God, I may as well have been licking a sugar bowl. They added so much. Uh, yeah. It was so sweet. It was like, I, I swear, I'd have, 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 have gotten less diabetes from. I don't know. <laughs> Down I mean, just have a bag of sugar. They just have a hacksaw at the door, like, hey, when you're finished, you can take you your foot here. <laughs> can you kill a vampire right. visit? Da, 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 da. By the way, Simon, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to ask the ancient Ziad about how strong the end boss is, because I'm pretty sure he got a few patches in the meantime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's no, been a few up there. He's got a few few alterations. We're, we're playing the remake version of it. We're playing the PlayStation 4 version right now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> not, not the NES version. Uh. <laughs> I wonder how large this map is. Everything's oh, one mile. I see it. Right. Never mind. Oh, yeah, you got the scale down there. Yeah, <laughs> he's big. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, look at all that. You have a lot of area. I'm gonna tell you that here and <laughs> oh, now. Holy shit. this entire this is... map is areas to go to. God damn, it's like it's like the opening to Elden Ring essentially. When you're looking out at the world, you're like, holy fuck. Wow. Yep. Yeah, basically. Yeah, all the space to play in. There is a little hmm. tree. <gasps> I see my carriage. I, I, I actually have a question for you, Pero. Yes. Um, at some point, I'm just curious, could I... Um... Uh, nagging, I, I think of what I was going to say. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how it's going to work. I don't remember how it's going to work. It, but, uh, um, can one of the, like, I, for example, can I move Mina out as if she had an unknown job to do so I could end up bringing someone else or what? Yes. Okay. Considering the setting that you guys are in, it will be very easy for me to swap in people and out. Just uh, ignore the horror vibe to it. <laughs> <laughs> My God! <Okay. laughs> the what now? <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. I, I might Probably. intend to have her go do something. That's but... fair. All right. Since for some reason D and D Beyond doesn't want me to change out your character for <laughs> fucking okay. Domino. It takes a while to update actually, because the original token I had it took like a day for it to actually refresh. We're just going to. That is not what I want. Go all the way up here. So are that. we directly okay. starting in, Bar in Barovia, or are we traveling there first from? You're Never traveling. Winter? There we go. This will be the placeholder image for your, you, sir. <laughs> uh, let me see. Where is it at? I have it up on stream. There you are. Oh, wait. oh I got to go to your Twitch stream. <laughs> I should probably put it into the chat so you guys can see who it is. Huh. Okay, that's that's good enough, though. I like that. 
I might, I might maybe just use that. <laughs> Screw it's it. A, AI is a wonderful thing when it doesn't look creepy as shit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I barely tried on my end, but yeah, maybe I'll just take that one. I hate the ones like if if AI did the, the scripts character, it's like, oh god, just no, no, mm. please no. All right. So, would you like to introduce your character then, Saren? Nope. <sighs> Good luck, guys. No I'm kidding. All right. Um, All right, going right ahead. <laughs> right. This Pretend is more didn't have into, basically. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Since you guys have gone through your beginner stuff, I'm going to be a lot more hands on or hands off. If you guys mm. want to do perception checks, you tell me. Yes. I will give you the options to do perception checks if you're in like about to be hit by something and you have your last chance to see it, something like that. But otherwise, it is entirely up to you now. Gotcha. <laughs> so basically, the next of the end of the last campaign. <laughs> Yes, just the silence of oh. Oh shit! We you might die. Like sh- up. <laughs> there is That's actually a very good chance that you might die. That's another <laughs> kind of reason why I want to maybe pull him in after a bit. For this entire campaign, if you guys fail, there's actually an ending for it for what happens to you and your characters. Oh <gasps> yeah, yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> oh, yeah. the the curse of Stad is like oh yeah, like you know. Stad. We could uh, uh, use Thrader. If like, yeah, I mean, the word curse is in it. That, that's the part I focused on the most. Mike, there's a curse going on. We could become part of that curse, I feel. Can we get to this so by us? So if I go from here, ah, so ah, let's ah, say ah, a line is ah, about 30 feet ah, for one line. I am line. going to suck your blood. Ah, 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 so oh. let's see, 30 feet one mile. This entire map is about... 560 feet. So about one. It's well over 100 miles long. God damn it. Wait, I need to translate miles into kilometers. And over 100 miles long and about 10 miles wide from like top to bottom, if I'm doing this correctly. If, if uh, not, my brain just ain't working. 100 Ooh, miles? Uh, oh, that's a lot. Oh, wow. That's a high number. You guys have lots and lots of ground. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, you'll have plenty of playtime. Yay! Yay! First thing like, I want to yeah, do is get, I, first thing I want to do is get off the main quest and find the first random NPC on the side of the road and follow that quest line. Oh, there's plenty. Oh yes, <laughs> first all the side quests and then we figure the main quest. You did her letter right. Yes, I did see the letter. It got sent home. I unfortunately, with everything I've been doing, have not crafted a reply letter. Okay, well, you don't have to, but, you know. Alrighty. What is so, she whatever talking you about? want to introduce yourself, Saren, go right ahead. Okay, so, so you guys are, like, leaving Neverwinter, essentially, and you're kind of on your trolley. Like, Domino is left at this point. He's been long gone. Uh, he just kind of mentions to everybody... He has some clan things he has to sort out. Uh, he oh. has... Ooh, pop. What's up? There we go. Oh, I'm just moving stuff. Did he take the um, gadgets with him? Yep, he did. He's going to ah. need them. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, he's got clan things he's got to focus on, and he is kind of focused on getting his father's warhammer back. So he's like, I'm going to go focus on this stuff, and I have some other things, which is, uh, you know, I'm not going to bore anybody with. So he parts ways he says his farewells and for a while during your like eight weeks or whatever it was or how many weeks he just wasn't there but go with god domino <laughs> <laughs> and uh the force be with you and he does the spock sign and leaves <laughs> uh. um but uh why why you guys are coming into this area a a half elf is actually running up to your cart. Oh. And she's screaming and waving her hands at you. At everybody. Telling you guys to stop the car. It's not a robbery. <laughs> is it is it, uh, a delivery of sorts? Is it what? <laughs> a delivery of sorts. Nope, she's just waving her hands and she's running after your cart. <laughs> Oh, she got nothing in her hands except all she got is a short bow on her back and she's running after you and uh 
She's um, just saying, stop the car. You might want to stop this car here. Who's driving? Because Mimic oh. can't drive. <laughs> yeah, who is driving? Well, it probably EL, right? I mean, because you own the car. Yeah, EL probably does. Am I? You oh, own the Darren. car. It's your time. <laughs> well, since Darren. Well, who's, uh, if uh, Rivale wants to introduce his character to you, what uh, does he look like as he's driving the cart? Yeah, since we are already driving, oh, sad. I wanted to re, well, introduce myself again. You're about to start driving. Yeah, yeah okay. So, let's pretend we are still in Neverwinter, okay? Because I prepared something in the last three months. <laughs> hey, hey, okay, hey. We can, we can rewind hey. it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Paro can describe me, how I approach them, and how I look like. As your uh, elven character comes up to the cart, you see what seems to be a heavily armored man with spiky dark armor and a leather witch hunter's hat over his head. That as you get closer, his <laughs> eyes seem to be glowing red and his face is in shadow. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Kiki is like 100% sure now. She has the right car. The necromancer. She's been looking for him. <laughs> well, this seems to backfire a little bit. Hey, yo, what the me. fish? It's me, Eel. Me, the high. <laughs> no time for C. <laughs> not helping the rumors. Check out my trip. Check out my trip. fire. Yeah, he got the uh, he got spiky armor upgrade, and then he asked for a witch hunter's hat, and I made it so it made him look even more evil for shits and giggles. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> now, now keep in All mind, right, keep, fire. <laughs> keep in mind, she's been tracking you guys down, and everyone is talking about El essentially what? being a spiky armored witch hat hunting, dark, you know, dark armor. <laughs> So she's been she's been hunting you guys down. She heard about you guys. She's been hunting you down. She's like, OK, so look for the evil guy. Huh? <laughs> I'm a life cleric. Excuse me. You do not look it. <laughs> you don't look like a life cleric. <laughs> OK, and I'm the head magician at the Molecule Mage School. Good job, sweetie. <laughs> He's convinced me. Wait, who are you? Oh, right. Uh, by chance. <laughs> Mina, who is that? Is Derrett already here? I, I don't see him. Where's Vardos? Uh... I only see two of you. <laughs> oh. So, by chance, was it you guys a couple weeks back that was in Fendelver Village? Around that area with the mines and stuff like that? I didn't do it. It wasn't me. I got framed. Okay. She, Wrong people. See ya. She flies. <laughs> Who she was flies, it? <laughs> Mina flies towards uh, Kiki. Anyway, Hi. Mina, how are you doing? Hello. Okay, so, no, you're the pixie you I'm hearing about. Do. Uh, Mina look, takes one look at EL's character, like, what is. <sighs> You really go with the more the necromancer in training bad, are you? Huh? What? No. No, I, I prepared myself into the last three months for this exact adventure. It will be so fun. I have prepared many items. So okay. Okay. I have I I have prepared um a lot of holy water. I was very hard working. I prepared many, 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 holy shit, is it many, uh, poultices for <laughs> healing. Jesus. Uh, it's, everything is inside the wagon. It's almost full. And uh, I prepared some steaks way. out of apple woods. Let me put it this way. He has well over a thousand poultices because he spent that much time getting them. Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. You will never uh, die, and he man. will not let you. It took man, me one like, week only. It's like, ah, but now getting back to you. Hello, 
My name is Minna, and you are? Okay, you're Minna, so you're... Okay, I heard of a pixie traveling with the crew. I think I'm on the right track. A pixie, a necromancer, there should be a green guy, a little tiefling, and the big lizard. So I think I'm on the right track with you guys. Uh, I am Kiki. Kiki Wells. I don't know if you heard of me. Uh, I used to fight for a gladiator group called Age in Neverwinter. Uh, Put on a couple big fights over there. But uh, I'm looking to... I I, I heard you guys are traveling to another big adventure. You guys were gathering up after your big exploit with the mines. And I'm just looking to join to see more of the world and actually do some training on behalf of my my master who recommended I come find you guys. Hmm. I see. Well, I totally believe you. Welcome aboard, Kiki. I'm sorry, Kiki, to... Me? Well, I, I'm sorry, Kiki, to tell you that, but Domino is sadly gone. Oh. Uh, yes, left well, us. I guess, I guess I can be his replacement then. You guys are down a man. Put me aboard. Like I said, this one here, your pixie said I'm okay to be here. She wants me on board, so. She's welcome aboard. We do need an extra member. I got a question for Serena, actually. What's up? Did, did her and Domino have a little talk before? Nope, she has no idea who Domino is. No. Minna and Domino. Oh, oh, um... I mean, Do- like Domino, just whatever I said at the beginning, that's all he would have enclosed, unless you want to add something to it. Just curious because of the whole mercenary group, because the whole mercenary attack, but that's OK. Yeah, well, he, he just said, well, what I said, he's going to get his uh, father's Warhammer. So he's kind of hunting that group down, essentially. Okay. You're always welcome. But, you can always see some of that. Welcome to my that's trusting. I, I mean, I thought I had this whole spiel of how I'm more of a boon than a negative impact on you guys, but hey, I'll take it. This is where Daryl will unbury himself from among uh, Yale's um, poultices and other stuff. Looks over the edge of the cart. This one's cuter. Goes back in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bunking with him, by the way. He seems like he's all right. By the way, check out my carriage. Do you notice anything about it? Eh? I'm surprised the horses are alive and not undead. <laughs> ha! <laughs> what, why? 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 Yeah, well, you're I'm a necromancer. Them. No! Well, no what, what, you, what, I was what? thinking you rose them from the dead. That's what everyone was saying about you. They said, look for the necromancer, the pixie, and the lizard folk, hey, and the teeth link. He's what? alive. He's alive, Claire. I'm a life oh. cleric. I had oh. nothing to do with necromancy. Yes. I'll, I'll take care of this. I'll take care do I look of this. like a necromancer to you? Do you really You're want me to answer that question? I'm like a necromancer <laughs> in some things. <laughs> uh, El, have, have you have you looked in a mirror? I mean, do do you know what people are saying about you on the streets that oh. you have like a name for yourself? It's anything. It's it's the farthest I've heard from a life cleric ever. Yeah, he, he actually is. He Wait, actually what? is a life cleric. The, only, the reason why he became this whole necromancer in training is because what of his demeanor sometimes. His talking about necromancy. Wait, where people did people start gossiping after I was talking about uh, the? different sides of necromancy and how not all yeah, necromancy people, is used for evil stuff. stuff. Uh, essentially, too, Domino's kind of going around, too, and being like, yeah, I used to travel with this, like, Merc- this like group of adventurers, and uh, I'm pretty sure one of them's a necromancer, so Domino's not helping that fire. <laughs> He's kind of stoking it. Oh, and he, I, might, he might be... Oh, and, and you might be a goblin. I, that's like a small rumor going around, That's too, the only the thing I heard from Domino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, you're you're the most interesting character of the group, from what I'm understanding. You have a lot of secrets. To yeah. You. Why don't we just? Why don't we all just go ahead and get along with our journey? 
I agree with that. She just climbs upside the cart. It just kind of cannonballs into like all the <laughs> the pots he has. Sure. Man, flies on top of the. Uh, Make carriage. yourself comfortable and welcome, I guess. Kiki. Get the bill off of the wrong. She says from underneath the pots. <laughs> By the way, all I have there is a barrel and a chest. Also, don't you like uh, my carriage? Do you see something like out of the ordinary? Maybe. Besides the driver? Besides the driver and the <laughs> alive horses. Can I throw a perception check? <laughs> to see? Yes, please. Because start Woo! paranoia all over again. Yep, here it goes. Oh, come on. <laughs> Do I look like a fish now? 14. What exactly are you trying to notice about him? What he's saying about his cart. He's like, do you know something about the cart? I'm like, oh, she's like looking around at the cart. Like, I what's... should look around. Give me a religion check. <laughs> religion. <laughs> Is this thing like pimped out with your god? Ooh, nat 20. <laughs> no, it's not a low rider. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Just right, out nat 20 on that. As you look at the... Uh, carriage you realize it's slightly overgrown with some ivy and vines that are somehow surviving on it almost covering the tarp entirely as the emblem of a polished oak leaf seems to have grown from the front wood parts of the cart proudly displaying themselves on either end of the carriage and you feel almost a sense of peace around this cart oh. for those of you who are unaware Ravale put in some work with his god he essentially dedicated the carriage as a roving church to his god. Nice. And it has the effect of a permanent sanctuary. Nice. <laughs> I didn't this expect it myself. It just happened overnight. All I did was nail a wooden sign as best as I could on the carriage, oh. and that happens. For those of you who don't know, anytime someone targets you who is within the cart, has to make a wisdom saving throw. Nice. So it's like Sanctuary, the spell. It is, essentially. <gasps> nice. And I get a religion advantage however, checks inside the carriage. Yeah. It is not, however, allowing you to essentially fight from inside it. <laughs> I mean, it's the carriage. If somebody gets injured or downed, you may put them into the cart, but you can't just stay in the cart as sort of a roving tank. Kind of like uh, an armored no. vehicle. <laughs> yeah. No, I need to know stuff for that. It is a holy place. There, it is not a place to shed blood. Well, yeah, we yeah. just have like Valus be the cannon on the main, on the front. You know what I mean? Fireballs Thank and God. stuff. <laughs> I would think, I would think, I would think, I would Whenever think. Whenever he does think. show up. Yep. Yeah, where is he? <laughs> Good Anywho. question. He's yeah. definitely healthy. He's probably oversleeping. Good, he needs sleep. <laughs> yeah. He's a tired boy. Yep. All right. But, uh, so, I'm actually going to meditate in this. I feel so peaceful. I'm meditating as we're going. So, By the way, well, uh, so I'm a follower of Silvanus, protector of nature, and I'm going to be his uh, uh, wrath incarnate or eternal champion, whatever you want to call it. So, all and of you have been a minute on top meditating and <laughs> in um, the actual carriage meditating. Yeah, it's peaceful. All right. So all of you have been told personally what you're getting from your respective factions. Please keep this in mind. Mm -hmm. And as you all head out of Neverwinter and start across the road, I want you all to give me perception checks. Oh, 18. That one, my head hurts. Bottles. My You're too busy falls meditating. Out. <laughs> yeah. You're inside the carriage. You can't see crap. Nope. With my eyes closed in, and sitting like cross-legged. All right. As you all travel along, you notice that there seems to be a fog creeping in. The fur closer you get to the nearby woods from Neverwinter, and as you enter the woods, the fog itself seems to roll over you. Ooh. You are no longer within the Swords Coast. You are now in the lands of Barovia. Land of Strahd, 
and home to the horrors of his own mind that he uses as toys to terrorize those he rules over. Da -da -da. Ooh. And let me see here. Spooky. I will let you all know now, the entire lands of Barovia is surrounded by the fog that has wished you away to it. Anyone who starts their turn within it must give me a constitution saving throw, or you will constantly become exhausted. No matter how far you travel or which direction you go in this fog, you will find yourself inexplicably back in Barovia, regardless of what direction you took. And you cannot see through this fog. It seems endless and everywhere. And well, good thing I came prepared. And unfortunately, by the will of the dark powers that Strahd has made his deals with, the sun never fully shines in this land. Mm. Even during the day, the sky is dimmed by fog or storm clouds, or the light is strangely muted. You tell like that's a bad thing. Sounds like so, a warlock to me. For all intents and purposes, for stun light being considered for purposes of effect or vulnerabilities, it does not work. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Okay. And oh. any magics that you attempt to use to leave Barovia or transfer yourself into another plane or anything do not work. This entire place is a plane of its own and cannot be left unless the master of this area allows you to. Oh, wow. So... The so light does work or something? For the purposes against uh, vulnerabilities, no, it does not work. So my light, light, my light bringer doesn't do extra radiance damage. Sunlight itself does not like go against vulnerabilities of say vampires. Ah, sunlight or itself yeah. only. Yeah, only so, sunlight. So they, can, they can be out in the open essentially. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ah, but I can still flash ping everyone. As far as you know, from the information you have on Barovia and lore and what you've all looked up, you know that Strahd von Zarovich is a vampire and he dwells in Castle Ravenloft and that no one is welcome there. Apparently, Strahd himself is a curse placed on the land because of a forgotten sin of the Barovian's ancestors. From what you do know of further research, a vampire must rest in its coffin during the day, at night. It can summon wolves and vermin to do its bidding, or even transform itself into a bat, a wolf, or a cloud of mist. And it has the power to dominate you with its gaze alone. However, as you all know, many things get muted, and it is unsure whether or not a vampire actually requires an invitation to enter an abode, or that running water and sunlight are actually effective against vampires. Hmm. I was surprised when I first heard in a book, not a movie or something, no, uh, that vampires cannot enter without invitation. Yeah, I saw that play that, too. That was totally new to me. Yeah, that was a weird play. Yeah. <laughs> now, eh. Barovia has its own calendar and they measure the passage of time in cycles of the moon. Each moon begins on the first night of a full moon and lasts a full lunar cycle. A year consists of 12 moons or 12 lunar cycles. It does not go by days, it goes by the passage of the moon alone. So I sense imagine the moon that... moves slowly then, I'd imagine. Makes sense or, if there's or... no sun. Yeah, or like this is like really fast forward at this area, but I imagine the moon just kind of like goes slower. To give you a sort of timeline on Strahd himself is sort of an oh, out of character thing. Strahd was born in the year 306. At 346, he inherited his, his father's crown, lands, and army. He then conquered the rest of the Valley in 347, finished Castle Ravenloft's construction in 350, and became a vampire in 351. 
The current Barovian year is 735. Oh, wow, he's old. It's fine, his bones are brittle. <laughs> so you think. <laughs> he's got a plastic hip. Now, must be level for 20. purposes of giving you a little more background, for religion, there are two divine forces. The Morning Lord, which is Lefander, the one that you have the mace of, Ravale. I know mm -hmm. this one. And Mother Night. The Morning Lord watch over the Barovian people before the Curse of Strahd from sunrise till sundown. And unfortunately, due to the effects of what's happened to the sun, he's no longer answering prayers. Well, the good thing that Ma nature is everywhere. <laughs> the presence of Mother Night is felt most strongly between dusk and dawn, although it seems most of her prayers are going unanswered as well. Sun up to sundown. Dawn. New prayers. Answered. Okay. Other than that, you do not know much else. Anything else you would have to ask the townsfolk or people of Barovia to find out more about the superstitions, legends, and lores? Creepy. Oh, by the way, people, I would have brought garlic, but the garlic would have went bad by the time we arrived here, so no garlic, sadly. Considering your time travel to another plane, yes. But we have a lot of holy water. And I have a, a new keg with a lot of normal drinking water inside. Yay! <laughs> also, is anyone That's... hungry? I have good berries. Essentially, Rivale has turned his carriage into a wandering holy clinic. It's not going to perfectly heal, heal everything, but it's a very good way to prevent you all from dying on the road. Yes, nice. it was, <laughs> the reason was definitely not uh, because of tax reasons. <laughs> no dysentery now, on this character, right? <laughs> nope. <laughs> now then, as you all emerge from the mist, after you've gotten your out-of-character lore background for everything that you can figure out immediately, as you enter what seems to be an old road, you look around you as you emerge from the fog. There seems to be an incessant downpour everywhere, as it seems to be morning time where you're at. Oop. And there we go. Get your sounds up. Oop. Uh. Since sound pads working and it makes my job a lot easier. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, it is raining at the moment. It's not downpouring, so you can still see at a good distance. But as you look around the old road, there's black pools of water all around the muddy roadway and giant trees loom on both sides of the road, their branches clawing at the mist that just brought you here. I'll have you make a decision as to what you're going to all try to do. Uh... For all purposes, you can see from your carriage here to about right here. That's about half a mile right there. Hmm. So what Kiki's going to do, she's not really going to chime in on anything, but she can just feel like the sense of like looming darkness all around here. She's going to just kind of stay to her meditation, but she is kind of using her other senses to see if there's like, you know, reach out, feel if there's anything amiss. Like, is anything going to come out and attack or, um, you know, is everything what it seems essentially like is, is, is like, are the trees going to start clawing down? Is something going to jump out of the black water? Things like that. She's kind of listening in and getting that insight for her. Give me a perception check. Did you mark the map or something? Hmm? Ooh, another nat 20. Let's be Silvanus. As you, uh... <laughs> stretch out your senses you get the distinct feeling that you have entered a place of horror, terror madness and despair not an ounce of joy or hope remains of these lands and if you aren't careful you too will become just another corpse on the roadside oh this is just my 9 to 5 job 
<laughs> Got it. <laughs> well, he he looks. Yeah. <laughs> at least people are. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trapped at the office again. No. What a lovely place. You can see Kiki going like uneasy as she's still like meditating, but she's feeling that sense of dread just fill her. She's not liking it. Her senses are overwhelmed with just pure negativity, pure, pure darkness and evil. Mm hmm. I this feel is not a good evil place. lingering around these parts. This is not a good place to die in. <laughs> Death will not be the end in such a place as this. Oh, so we're immortal here. Nice. That's the one silver lining. Ah! <laughs> death is, to put it very bluntly, death is not an escape. <laughs> Damn. No, apropos death and escape. Uh, let me give each one of you. Valos is currently sleeping. Okay. Uh, a, a state. I'm meditating on top of him. <laughs> oh. It should have been me. Uh, a wooden stake. I will make you decide where to go from here. Yes, okay. Uh, let me give all of you one wooden stake made out of apple wood. I don't know if it works. Uh, I mean, it, it, it is pokey. Uh, one moment, let me find it. Say, uh, what wood did you make them out again, Rivale? Apple wood. Apple. Apple. I decided for apple. I have an apple logo on my stake. Okay. Does Apple work? People? Yes. Oh, thank God, I wasn't sure if we'd all get Apple. <laughs> we will find That's out. We will find That's out. Yeah, uh, I guess so. They can uh, pass to the vampire and see what happens. Uh-huh. Uh, wait, let me find it. It's not in my... Did I have it equipped? One moment, I have so many inventory boxes now. It'll be something out of the Monster Hunter's back. Uh, oh, maybe inside the church. Traveling church. No, that is just my arms, chest, uh, my 1034 healing poultices, uh, my 30 holy water, the sun elf statue, and the vestments. Uh, wait, let me check another. Uh, inside the barrel mm. is just water, drinkable and clean. Must be inside the bag of holding. Uh oh, did I forget my foot stakes? <laughs> oh. Well, they're just good. Well, they're plotting and planning. and Daryl do Apple. what he's supposed to do. He's going to scout ahead. Ah, there it is. So I have. I was only able to make uh, seven where? wooden stakes in one week, one per day, uh, because I wasn't very good at this. Uh, Mina, can you even carry it? Please take one wooden apple steak. Okay. Why would I it's a custom I... item. Oh, right! Why the stakes? Uh, I thought since we are fighting vampires... And yeah. since... Yeah, and since they can be either destroyed or paralyzed by poking a stake into the heart, uh, I thought why not make some and bring them to a fight, you know? It depends on how strong the enemy is. You can either destroy them instantly with a surprise attack while they are sleeping or just paralyze them and then cut off the head. And then uh, bath them with holy water and prevent them from resurrecting and destroy them forever. I think. Uh -huh. So please, uh, Mina, take one. Yeah, I have yeah, it's a wooden, uh, it's a custom item. Do you have it? Mina? <laughs> are, are you okay, Mina? I can ask. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, cry out loud, game. Kika, it's a Kika, yes. Nah, Kiki. Kiki. Kaki. Kiki. 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 Like the Kiki. think of the think of the mythical creature, Kiki Mora. 
fucking Witcher. <laughs> Shh. Stop to say my inspirations were. <laughs> Kudo, ah, kudos if you get the Wells part. <laughs> the Kikimora. I remember that from history. I don't get the Wells one. I'll admit that. Uh, it's, it's from a, Kiki, uh, please take... It's from another tabletop. Please take also oh. a steak just in case. A wooden steak. <laughs> out of apple. It's a custom item. She just nods and like kind of just like points in front of her, like just throw it in front of me. Just toss She's meditating. Uh, so, just toss it in front uh, yeah, of me. Sure. Yeah, oh, just, okay. Just, yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dewitt? Where's Dewitt? Oh. Wait, did we forget Dewitt in Neverwinter? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You, might have, you don't know. I only saw three of you here. <laughs> oh, no. Don't tell me for forgot Dewitt. Mina, did he... Step into the carriage with us. I don't know. Oh no! <laughs> Can we return? <laughs> oh shit, we can't. I, I doubt it. We don't. I don't think we're going to be able to return. So. Okay. Anyway, let me uh, give Valos a stake into his pocket. Backpack pocket. Not suspiciously, I mean. Uh, wait, let me make a note uh, that I gave him a thingy. Uh, one. Apple steak for Valus. Okay. Uh, inventory. Hey, Apple. Uh, now I have. <laughs> Four? Yeah, I have four left. Okay, I, I'll carry them around my belt. By the way, check this new rope out. I bought it against the heat for my arm and to prevent it from getting dirty should I polish it one day. Uh, also, check out my new leather strap on my Lightbringer, Mina. It's for okay. a tighter and better, better grip. Yes, we are really doing this hard. Also, oh, people, look, look what I bought. I'm... Perhaps we have more pressing issues to worry about than showing off <laughs> or getting getting <laughs> getting in a pissing off. contest. Getting in a pissing contest over our armor. <laughs> it's not people. like I'm making rolls as you sit here. Yeah, I'm just saying. Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe we should okay, let's continue. move forward. <laughs> let's continue. <laughs> Am I with the I right group? Say this much, <laughs> you have gotten lucky on the rolls so far. Yeah, I'm like, Kiki's starting to wonder, am I with the right group? Are you guys sure you're adventurers? Can I make a perception check? You may. Do I notice Darrett slipping off to scout ahead? Nat 20. Nice. Let's <laughs> You notice up ahead of the carriage as your view pierces through the fog and rain and the darkness inherent in this land is some gates, which I'm going to put into the Discord for you. Oh. These are the gates of Barovia. Oh, They'll be sitting oh, in wow. our little chat here. Are those had the statues to the heads? The what? Those giant statues, are those to the heads? If you want them to be alive, they can be. No, no, no that's okay. <laughs> no, no. I was about to say. The heads of the statue are no. at the round, so they're just really old. I will oh. use the line. I will most certainly use the line. You are under leveled and over fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. The d He's never made good with those threats. Let's just hit him. It's fine. One skyscraper Dullahan coming up. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'm I'm in the car. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. I can cast you, Bolt Earth. You say that you're in the cart, but the cart is the biggest target to something that size. <laughs> yeah, it's got sanctuary on it. It's cool. No, <laughs> sanctuary doesn't matter to a sword that's bigger than it. <laughs> they don't have to attack the cart to attack the cart. Can I check no. the? <laughs> no, they don't. Can I look at the walls or gates and, uh, I don't know, think about history? Give me a history check. Ah, a 10 on. 
Well, as you exit the road and see the high stone buttresses looting, moving ahead of you and the huge iron gates that hang open, barely on the stonework itself, all you see is two headless statues of armed guardians. They greet you only with silence. Ah. And we are the gates. Did you say the gates were open or not? Did you talk about the actual gate? The goats, the gates themselves are closed. You could try to get mm. closer to inspect them. I would like to look around for monsters or enemies or people or skeletons or anything out of the ordinary. You would like to stay here and find a problem. Okay. No, I mean, uh, what I if they're just say, like I, bones I decorationally laying the on the side of the yeah, road telling Kiki, a story Kiki's or following something? Barrett. As uh, Kiki Mer and Barrett uh, flies off. Flies off <laughs> where? To, to help with uh, the gates. As the three of you walk towards the gates ahead of the carriage, you hear a loud screech as the doors themselves open all on their own as you approach. Uh -oh. As if welcoming you to their master's domain. Oh, what a sweetheart. It's can cool. I, He's cool. Can I check for Arcane if they are cursed or something? You may. Right. Roll an Arcana. A 10 again? Are you kidding me? You sense nothing strange about this place. Kiki ah. starts waving on EL to bring the carriage up and through. Come on. Okay. You I'm assuming you're going to go down the wall then. As the Let's carriage go, is passing, horses. she climbs back in as it passes. <laughs> she's going to poke her head out, though, and she's going to keep her head on a swivel this time after hearing the loud screeches and becoming very unsettled by the uh, uh, opening gate. Okay, let's see. I mean, it's going to sit on top of the uh, up whatever. Calm the, 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 Calm. the roof Kiki. of the carriage. Kiki, you have the highest passive perception. Yes. You smell the scent of death on the air. This place is so foul. There's no hint of joy here. All my senses are flooded with dread. Would you it like, like to death. follow the scent? Which way is it coming from? Like if I were it's to follow... Coming... Slightly from the west in the forest. So Kiki's going to consult her party and say, I smell death in that forest over there. I don't know if we steer clear if somebody wants to go check the it scent, out or the scent itself is very <laughs> close. It's over there, she's. What do you think? Does it smell like a monster? He's, oh, he's quietly made like my way death. over that way. It smells like death. It might be a dead body. It might be something dead. Is it approaching? All right. You're heading off towards where uh, Kiki motioned to where the scent was coming from. Yeah. Give me a perception check. Everyone? No, just uh, Derek. Ah. 15. You notice about 15 feet from the road, a human corpse half buried in the underbrush. It's a young man who seems to have been a commoner. His muddy clothes are torn and raked with claw marks. Bits and pieces of him have been chewed off. And his body is surrounded by paw prints as crows have been apparently pecking at the body as well. From what you can tell, he's been obviously dead for well over quite several days. You do ah. notice that he holds a crumpled envelope in one hand. I don't uh, have speak with undead prepared. You're not even there. Uh, uh -huh. Oh. Now, is there anything around that? How old are the tracks? The tracks are as old as the corpse itself. Okay. Whatever killed them obviously left and hasn't returned yet to finish off their meal. All right. All right. Uh, anything else of note on the body? Nope. Just his clothes. The chunks missing out of his body and the note in his hand. 
Alright, I will take the note. Okay, is it written in a language I understand? It is written in common, so yes. Would you like to open it up? Yeah. As you look at the letter, it reads, Hail thee of might and valor. I, the Burgomaster of Barovia, send you honor with despair. My adopted daughter, the fair Irina Kolyana, has been these past nights bitten by a vampire. For over 400 years, this creature has drained the lifeblood of my people. Now, my dear Irina languishes and dies from an unholy wound caused by this vile beast. He has become too powerful to conquer. So I say to you, give us up for dead and encircle this land with the symbols of good. Let holy men call upon their power that the devil may be contained within the walls of weeping Barovia. Leave, me, leave our sorrows to our graves and save the world from this evil fate of ours. There is much wealth entrapped in this community. Return for your reward after we are all departed for a better life. Kolyan Indirovich, Burgomaster of Barovia. Hmm. Meanwhile, he is away. Can I pray? Oh, you may. Is... Let's go! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> Natural 20. How did you do that the carriage actually works, Parokets? As you pray to your god, you get the sense that there are no gods in this place. Ah, shit. You hear nothing but silence. Even the naturist forest around you seems oppressive, hungry, and vile. This is not a safe place. We're in the devil's playground, essentially. Well, people, I have a bad news for you. <laughs> I think we are screwed. <laughs> it's not reassuring from the necromancer, the one who should be a dad. I'm not the necromancer, I'm a life cleric, and I'm telling you, I have no connection to my god here. That's even worse news. You should have <laughs> the necromancer story. My god is gone. I could have told you that by my senses. Everything <laughs> is so overbearing. Okay. I will make my way back towards would... the cart. I'm assuming will... you're all going to go forward then. I no skin. I would like to look or... around again. You may. Do I roll for perception? If you'd like. Yes, please. Kiki's doing the same thing. Kiki's actually standing in the car and she's just ready. You notice that even as you cross this road towards this wondrous valley, heading towards the town you see, what would be a fair valley filled with greenery, life, and a sense of hope is nothing more than oppressive and hateful. I you feel have like I am invaded. At town of Barovia. 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 I have to pee really quick. Barovia. I'll be right back. Oh. Oh. It's there a village. Go. It's a big village. Up. And you are all approaching from this way. Oh my god, this is a big map. One square <laughs> 40 feet. I have to zoom in quite a lot. But I'll keep your characters there. And I'll assume you're all still in the carriage. Who do I hand the letter to? Who takes the letter from me? Wait. You can keep the ladder. I can't oh, press the carriage. There to keep it. <clears throat> no. I'm just putting your characters up there so you don't have to worry about them. I'll, I'll line right you up here. I'll still considering you inside the carriage. Okay. But just keep track of where your characters are. And let me bring this up. You know what, people. 
while I can, let me give you each of you uh, ten poultices. So first, Mina, please take ten poultices. It's a custom item again. It heals one d eight. Sorry, that that was a long one. <laughs> All right, you guys are in Barovia now. Okay, Mina. Shadow Kitty. So. Okay. I don't worry if I don't answer. So, I thought you are a god or right. AFK or I don't know. Uh, next. Uh... All right. As you uh, approach the village, you see tall shapes looming out of the dense fog that surrounds everything. The muddy ground underfoot gives way to slick, wet cobblestones, and the tall shapes become recognizable as village dwellings. The windows of each house stare out from pools of blackness. No sound cuts the silence except for mournful sobbing that echoes through the streets from a distance. I think people are sad here. There's sobbing in the streets? Yes. <laughs> <I'm> gonna... <laughs> slow yourself adventure, but I'm going to sneak up, though, just slowly, like taking my time trying to like stay behind something and just listen out for the sobbing and see if I can make out what it is I would hold for perception again it echoes from everywhere it seems mm. as if the very village itself is crying and sobbing ceaselessly <laughs> but you are more than welcome <laughs> to give me a check I mean if it's overwhelming it's coming from everywhere there's nothing to really hone in on <laughs> I mean I'm gonna. I'm just gonna throw a perception just to see what we're looking at, and to throw dice. Fair enough. Uh, eleven. As far as you can tell, it's not from this side of town, which means whoever's sobbing is very definitely got a very good pair of lungs on them. Something's very unnatural about that sobbing. It's almost like it's being purposely made louder to instill more terror and horror in everyone. <gasps> it must be Toma Can Tucci. I investigate that sobbing? You may. Fifteen. As far as you can tell, it's not on this side of town. So the way I see it, we either investigate this crying or we take a look around and see what else we can figure out about this place. People, I just noticed that my kitty is with me inside the room. <laughs> it's just so sneaky, it's so dark, I didn't even see it. Aww. Aww. Yeah, on my bed, right here behind me, looking at me, chilling, listening to our stories. Ooh. Hi, kitty. <laughs> So mustering up my courage, or Kiki's courage, she's going to start moving forward, just walking into the town and looking around. Mina is going to follow suit from above. Can I see Dewitt? Is this our carriage? Yes. yes. Okay. I'm assuming you're all still inside the carriage unless you want to move on foot. I'll be moving ahead on foot. Scouting. I am staying with Vados. He's sleeping. So you're both in the cart. Yes. So. I'm assuming that you're still driving the carriage then, as I get out and look around. Yes. Meanwhile, I am sneaking ten poultices into Vados's pockets. <laughs> That's a heavy um, sleep. I... Ten. Go on. All this is one eight year. Okay. Uh, Mina, did you take the poultices? Yes. Ten, okay. Uh, let <laughs> uh, is minus ten, minus twenty, 
Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna strip over you. Strip over what? <laughs> <laughs> this weird ass green tail in the middle of the road. <laughs> and I'm also giving. You even see the tail. <laughs> and I'm also giving Valus uh, ten holy water while I'm looking around the road. I was going to wake up, unable to get up, thinking he's got a uh, sleep demon on him. A paralysis <laughs> demon. <laughs> <laughs> he's waking hey. up oh, looking shit. like a nobleman. <laughs> where, where all this free shit come from? Huh? Where am I? What is this place? I have been abducted. Ah, oh, someone help me, people, mummy. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Valus, it's me! Like the people. It's freaking soft. <laughs> Mother is gone. Uh-huh. Ah, Firebolt! No, 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 no! Alright. I've made oh. some markers for some places in the town so you don't get lost too easily, but you have not seen them yet. What is it you uh, all want to do as you're looking throughout the town? Just at every intersection, just looking up and down the street, seeing if anything is out and about. There is no one out and about. It is still towards morning now, muted sunlight, still storming and windy. But there's no one out on the streets. Anything in these alleyways back here? By the way, what do I see with my uh, 18 perception? You see that suspiciously, almost every house seems empty, or at least made to look empty, as if they don't want to draw attention. I think they pretend to hide. Well, they are hiding by pretending not to be home. Hmm. I'd be avoiding something or someone. Uh, does the village have a palisade wall around uh -huh. it? Well, oh no, there's no walls. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, as as he all makes that comment about them being empty, can I just like I'm not gonna like peer like into a window to avoid suspicion. But I'm gonna like just kind of look at a window and just see if I can see inside it and just be like are they really empty or are they avoiding something or which house are you looking in we'll do the south house here so the one closest one. yep the one closest it's as me. you look in the window give me a perception check mom baby that 20 and i find jolly rogers treasure <laughs> <laughs> 10 as far as you can tell this house looks abandoned. Mm. I don't think anybody's in there. Knock on the door. <laughs> the door itself swings open. Loosely. With your perception check, you can tell that there's claw marks on the door leading inward as it the door swings open. It almost seems to complete the picture of these claw marks of something breaking in. And we are slowly closing the door. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, it uh, just kind of relays that to the party like. I, it doesn't look good. I mean, I just I saw claw marks in that door in that house that nobody seems to be in. So uh -oh. I think we're looking at something abducting people. Essentially, uh, could it be that every building here is empty and that we should probably uh, find some safe refuge because there could be a horde inside those buildings coming out at that's, any moment? Yep, that's exactly the feeling I'm getting right now. Let's see if we can find a light <laughs> or something. <laughs> Let's traverse further, but silence. Yeah, and I think I'm that told not us enough. going to turn on my light bringer. All right. Kiki also, is going to move very it seems, stealthily. It seems the light from your light bringer is dulled in this place. Give me a religion check. Uh, I didn't even turn it on yet, but okay. Uh, religion. 
Hey, it's a carriage works. I don't believe it. You realize whatever it is that's affecting the sunlight that Lathander, the Morning Lord, is... Oh, hi, kitty. Is in control of this mace, the Lightbringer, that was made for a cleric of his religion is not working properly. Your radiant damage is now a 1d4 instead of 1d6. I need to take a note. Bam. Then I guess uh, the whole area is cursed with some darkness spell or something. Like, I, I don't know, cast darkness or whatever it's called. You mean darkness? Just darkness. Okay, no. I, I don't know. Basically I don't have this magical spell. darkness. You're talking about? Yes. No, this is advanced darkness. darkness. <laughs> I knew it. Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, notes. 1d4 radiant only. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, Mina Kiki, would you like some holy water first, just in case? Kiki looks back and just she shakes her head for now. Okay. Meanwhile, I am silently advancing I... with my carriage. I can't. I did roll an eighteen on stealth, so I'm going stealthily through. Okay. But I did roll an eighteen. Can I stealth? What are you up to? Uh, I'm scouting ahead. Looking you for see, any signs of... Uh, from where you're at, you can see some light coming through this large building in front of you with the coin mark on it. Uh, and it seems the sobbing that you heard is far closer than before. All right, any windows I can look through? There are, but as you look, you see all the windows are covered by drawn heavy curtains. All right. I just realized that I must look like the writer of death driving through you, these roads. You, you look like you belong. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So you might, you might be safe. red eyes, spiky it's, armor. Uh -huh, and, and the darkness coming out of the... <laughs> Mist. Where I'll is let you the control where the carriage is right now. Uh, I can't move the carriage at all. Yeah. I'm guessing there's a door here. That is indeed is there, a door. Is there any indication on the front in here that says what this might be? A sign over the door creaking on its hinges reads, Bildrath's Mercantile. So it's a store. Uh, does, the, does it sound like the crime's coming from in here or still further on? It feels like it's coming further south from you. It is loud and very, very abundant. But it's not this house, it seems. Okay. Now this front, this door, is it open or closed? It is closed. Hmm. Does it uh, appear to be locked? Da, 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 one moment. There was it. Up, 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 up. The doors themselves are reinforced, but it is not closed, as far as you can tell. By the way, did David tell us about the envelope? Uh, I handed it off to whoever wanted to take it. Oh, okay. I would like to look around and roll for perception again. Go ahead. Thank you. 
you see the same thing that Derrett is investigating, but behind you, you notice a singular shaft of light coming out of an entrance right on top of you and your carriage. What? And you hear some noise coming from the building north of you with the mug on it. There's a gaping doorway uh. with a sign hanging askew calling this the Blood on the Vine Tavern. Okay. Psst, people. There is light in this building. Investigating this building down here. I he like hears Ia like speaking, but she's not close up, but she like, turns and looks, but she can notice the light though. Like she sees light coming out of that one too. Like, I am equipping my weapons just in case. <clears throat> so would she would she notice the sign if she if she turned and looked in his direction? Like she would notice that's the uh the tavern. Yep. Okay. kind of huddles up a little bit and is like so I say we start with one of these two buildings since there's light coming from them either one is fine I feel I feel like we go in together whichever one we pick who's in vote who votes for what I nick my head no, has... nothing <clears throat> need to find a scout yeah you do have a scout where is our scout? He's scouting. Wow. He's scouting. We don't know where, but he's scouting. <laughs> I don't he's even know if he's in track. <laughs> Give me a perception check then. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw and see if I can see him. <laughs> I'm just curious. Are you kidding me? I, I can't see him at all. Uh, only a 19. I think he rolled a 26 or something on his stealth roll. The yep. last stealth roll I made was... 22, I think, or something. Above 19. 27. <laughs> 27. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I was short on both of them. Damn. <laughs> so. I mean, if he doesn't want to appear to us and discuss, she shrugs. <laughs> he's, 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 uh, he's much like that. So he's a man. He does the scouting that way. He's not disturbed. And it's best As you uh, pass there. this house here, the red one, it will be on your right here, or your left as you're going down the road. Uh -huh. The sobbing has gotten to the point of where you can immediately tell it's coming from this house. One straight south, the one right next to me? Yep, the one straight east of you. Is okay. It All right. Windows. The very, uh, curtain. the very sound of sobbing itself is coloring your thoughts with sadness. Uh oh. Hmm. Must be a witch. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh. Any windows I can look through, or are they also curtained? Curtained? Ah. The house is actually boarded up and barricaded from the inside, from what you can tell. Mm. It's a two story, 40 feet square house. Okay. Are all windows boarded up, including the second story ones? All of them. Okay. I feel like we just yes, entered the town in Castlevania it. season one. I suppose we can go ahead and check this one. Well, I I mean I thought I I'm just gonna wait for the scout, I guess. Cause I think that's uh -huh. I mean if you want if you want to we could, but would you like to I was gonna say, do you have a crowbar in your inventory, Derek? Most likely. Because I believe that's part of the burglar set. Mm -hmm. Would you like yep. a mace? It also works. You do? Yeah, crowbar. You would Legacy give or take these uh, barricades off if you wanted to get inside. Mm. 
Oh, that'll be a little on the noisy side. Plus, I'm just checking to see if there's possibly any other way in besides trying to pull a Santa Claus. <laughs> you could try. Let's say you're how tall? Hmm? How tall are you? He is... 6'8". I believe 6 foot 8 it was. You would be able to grab onto the roof. It's fairly short compared to you. Oh, uh, I also have an alternative way to get up there, but... True. Ninja uh, style. Can I stealth with the carriage? What's that? Can I stealth with the carriage? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> what would that look like, even? <laughs> even the horses on your carriage are looking at you like, how the fuck do you expect <laughs> us to stealth? In yeah, the middle all, of town. And all the one thinks about is carrots, and he's questioning you. Mm. Move so slowly that you are invisible to the naked eye? I We're not think it's more along the lines of move so slowly that you're an easy target. <laughs> I don't think we're in a village of T-Rexes. <laughs> that would work if we were. Okay. Real life. Reality? No. <laughs> the cries are coming from the house. Uh... Second building down on the east side from us. So do we check out that completely building? Or... It's completely boarded up. Mm. We can't get in. If you We're want, people, I can knock. way in from the ground floor. So you want me to check the top floor? I probably could if I wanted, but I wasn't going to go too far. Without letting <laughs> you all know what's going on. Unlike some of us, I am not just going to be bursting into places. <laughs> I cannot. That's going to be a long held grudge, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> it worked out, kind of, but, you know. Yeah, you got to remember, Derek's a lizard brain, literally. If you want, I can.